Hi everyone, thought we'd do a bit of thumb ring shooting. We were shooting with an organic thumb ring yeah, made out of horn. I don't know, see if I get it off my finger. Thumb's a bit swollen at the minute, so it's a bit tight, but my thumb's a bit too small for my brass ring, which is a mil bigger. I've already done the warm ups with these, I'll just quickly just show just for these. Anyone want them, they're just benching back. You know, um, for bench pressing they are for when you put them on the rack there to um, you know, increase the weight of the top sort of thing. Get them for about a tenner you can off eBay. The only bit of work on my thumb draw, I'm only uh, really a beginner, the amateur at thumb draw. Now I'll go get the marrows. I'll have a few more shots of this and I'll move on to the heavier bow. On to the Korean bow. See if I can get it to full draw because this one, I can pull it with fingers but the thumb draw is just a little beyond me. There are days when I can, some days when I can't. I don't want a full draw, I can tell. Need to move the knocking point in the new string and get in a bit of flexion contact on the thumb. And I'll retrieve them arrows. If anyone's wondering what my arrows are, they are stainless steel golf club shafts, they are, with just modern knocks on. They've got a 8mm. Um, Dow they have, just an old, some 8mm arrows, some cheap arrows, wood arrows. And you can see they're glued in, about an inch down, hot glued in, and then half and go in the knock. The knocks, I've got an 8mm parallel hole, and they end up roughly flush, they do. So, 
because you're not really going to break this shoot no matter what you shoot it at, as long as you're not shooting into a brick wall or something, or you side slap something like a post, you're not going to bend these or anything. And what usually happens when they're not breaks, you can just heat this up, you can with a hot the heat gun and they'll pull out and you can put a new knock on every time and I've done that quite a few times. I usually tape them though though because sometimes when they break, this didn't break when it was shot, this broke when it bounced off the net and hit the ground at a funny angle and snapped off but if the knocks do fail, I find when you start going above 130 ish or 130, 130 up they, they can sometimes fail. I just put a few bit of tape around because that actually stopped the bow dry firing. It just cracked it, the string fell down, hit the dial and just shot normally. You just heard a loud creak, like a pop. And when I looked, that bow was fine and it was just this had failed. Yeah. I thought I'd show some of the thumb rings I like to use. This is the organic horn one. I've got some taping because my thumb is a little bit too small for it, only just and this one here, brass ring, which is about perfect. Yeah, not too tight, not too loose. The only modification I've done to it is I've put a groove in there. I've got a needle file, so I have a nice groove in. Not very deep, it's not. Maybe one, one and a half mil. But I fuck these type of rings more of a barrier between the thumb. I find I don't have to have such a massive you know, deep hook which is, puts a lot of stress on the thumb what I find it does for me this one can have a more shallow grip I can and still you know, be secure I'm not going to worry about having a you know it, yeah accidental release same thing with this one I modify it slightly I've only put a bit of a groove and just filed it gently you probably probably not going to show up on camera it's not but it's slightly grooved and see if I can get a good angle of this when the thumb is there it's locked it's locked it's locked it's only when the thumb is about like three or four mil from being just relaxed when it's about that it lets go and I find that is you know, you get a really clean release, like it's just like a hair trick, it's boom, it's just gone. There's no, you don't, you can't, you know, it's really hard to plug, unless you've got a really tense thumb and you let it go and then the thumb catches it on the way out. But that's just poor technique. Um, I'll just demonstrate. There's, you see that, there's the release is just gone. So it's going to be locked on all at once. Yeah, very easy to get really clean arrow flight. Because, um, I know a lot of people do say like to do that cat is it catra where they torque the bow and let it or yeah, you know, you've got a different source, you've got some way you torque it and let the bow spin right round like the you know like the kudo people do, they tend to do that. You got some where they flick it down, you've got some where they just flip it sideways. I I'm not a fan of doing that at all. I prefer just to keep my my grip new and just have a solid follow through so it's just the back muscle, the draw arm coming back and the back muscles closing. I don't actively do any sort of wrist torque and I find it puts a lot of strain on the arm, especially at the heavier weights.
Uh, that, I'll wrap it up for this video. Sorry for rambling about. Well, a lot of things is my opinion, that is. About thumb draw shooting. But yeah. Yeah. Do recommend them sort of rings, these ones where. I know some sellers do where they've got a groove in from you know, when they make them. So I recommend that. Do recommend those ones as well. Because you can shoot them without the groove, but I just prefer the groove in the. The string groove there, so makes it nice and you know it's easy to be consistent. Same thing as that. If you want, if you want a thumb ring that's not a barrier for the thumb, if you want a thumb ring that's just um, you know just like a hair trigger, just very easy to get a crisp release, I recommend that. Just the only thing I would say is careful about over bending your thumb because if you try and do what you do with this and have a quite a tense thumb this part of the ring can really drive into your thumb and be quite unpainful you have to just just lengthen the thumb just a little have a more straighter thumb and have a bit more shallower grip don't try and you know, really wrench your thumb you have to just have a nice soft grip on the thumb and I'd recommend that anyway don't over tense your hand don't because that's just going to lead to it. I find really clenched hands, if you're really tensing up, is gonna, you're going to pluck it you're off the string and it's going to be a hard time getting a nice clean arrow flight.